Already dealing with a budget shortfall, Nashville was hit by a tornado and then another crisis in COVID-19, and the end result could end up costing you. Yeah, Mayor John Cooper says the only solution to get the city's economy back on track since businesses remain closed and thousands have lost their jobs is to raise property taxes. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is at the Five Alert Center with more on how the mayor's proposed budget could impact you and Metro workers. Well, that's right. He called this a crisis budget. It includes an almost 32% property tax increase and hundreds of millions of dollars in cuts. He said it really came down to either increasing property taxes or mass layoffs, and that was something he did not want to do. This is the most difficult year and the most difficult budget. After a one-two punch of a tornado and a public health crisis in just a matter of months, Nashville Mayor John Cooper's budget presentation to the Metro Council had a somber tone. This will be the greatest financial challenge that this city or any other American city for that matter has faced in our lifetime. His $2.447 billion budget includes an almost 32% property tax increase. For a home valued at $250,000, that means an extra $625 a year. Mayor Cooper says this will generate $332 million in new revenue. There is no way of not sharply increasing property taxes to replace more than $300 million in missing revenue. The proposed budget does not include raises or cost of living adjustments for Metro employees, but there will be no layoffs. No money will be spent on capital projects. Funding for Metro schools will be about the same as last year. Mayor Cooper says he was also forced to leave out investments in body cameras for Metro Police, affordable housing and transportation due to the dire financial situation. Over the next 15 months, the city will miss almost a half a billion dollars in revenue. Opposition to the proposal started almost immediately. The president of Public Service and Healthcare Workers Union released a statement saying in part, for too many Metro employees, every year in Nashville has become a difficult year, no matter how the economy is doing. The chair of the Metro Minority Caucus added this budget process was done in the shadows and was not inclusive. But Mayor Cooper maintains his plan will help Nashville get back on track. We look forward to getting our city into another era, an era of improvements and not just struggling so to achieve continuity of just trying to hold things together. And it's important to remember this is just a proposed budget. The Metro Council would have to sign off on it before any property tax increase would go into an effect. Now, if it does go into effect, that would be the first property tax increase in Metro since 2012. An operating budget has to be approved by June 30th. Reporting live at the Five Alerts Center, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.